In this fifth video about writing task 2, we'll look at how to solve the problems we identified in videos 1 to 4. And I'll talk about the surprising lessons I learned when writing the key to IELTS writing task 2. Don't forget to download and print off the worksheet so you can practice as you watch. And look for the exercise numbers in the top left hand corner. In the previous videos, we identified several key problems in IELTS Writing Task 2 that are keeping you stuck. So let's look at what you can do to break free from the hamster wheel. As we've seen in previous videos, using the right practice materials is an important first step. We can see the importance of this in the extract from the last video. This person was practicing using a question they'd found online. This is a very common topic and would be a useful starting point for students just beginning to learn about how to discuss a topic and express their own opinions on it. However, for more advanced students, there isn't really a lot to say about this, and it's probably more suitable for speaking part 3 practice. Trying to write a complete essay when there isn't very much to say means the writer has had to drag out their ideas. So questions like this mean you're practicing writing in a rambling way, where, as we saw, the reader easily becomes lost. Using the right test materials means you're practicing using and building the skills you need to show in the test, and that will help you to increase your score. The second solution is not so easy to apply. Part of the problem lies in students' expectations about changing their writing and their score. As we saw in the first video in this series, the internet has persuaded many people that there is a quick, magical solution to any problem. People expect to hear some magic words and go from this to this. This is all good advice, but it's far from magical. These are all abstract ideas. If you don't know how to apply them in practice, it's as helpful as telling this dinosaur to skate with more style and stop falling over and expecting an immediate transformation. Although it's true that making your position clear throughout, having one clear central topic in your paragraphs, developing your ideas, explaining them more clearly and including a counter-argument will all increase your score, these are all far more easily said than done. If you want to get from here to the highest levels in IELTS writing, we need to focus on the problems at this level and turn these abstract ideas into concrete practical advice that you can follow step by step. Which is what I set out to do in my Key to IELTS Writing Task 2 course. An important first step is to fully understand the problem. I started by considering the criteria used to assess your writing and used these to make a list of clear goals. I thought very carefully about how we do these things and analysed the many pieces of writing that people stuck at band 6.5 had sent me over the last 12 years to identify the main problems. This is when I noticed how many people were using this template approach, often finishing their paragraphs with an invented statistic, and that many candidates were able to produce high-level sentences but their ideas were difficult to follow and didn't seem logical. I realised that all of these ideas are linked to critical thinking and making a clear argument. To learn more about making a clear argument, I watched a series of talks by an expert at Oxford University. There were six hours of lectures, which shows that this is a very complex idea. The lecturer asked the native speaker students in the audience to give their own examples of arguments, and the results were often quite surprising. The people in the audience failed to produce accurate sentences and clear arguments when they didn't spend enough time thinking, when they invented examples instead of using real-life experience, and when they didn't use the language structure given by the expert. As well as realising the importance of not inventing ideas, this taught me two important lessons. 
Firstly, that we need to think clearly before we can write clearly. And secondly, we can't separate making a clear argument from the language needed to do that. In other words, when you're learning how to make a clear argument, you also need to know which language to use. That's why banning certain connecting words and phrases because they are too simple causes problems. So we now have clear goals, we know which skills you need to develop to meet these goals, and that you need to think about using the appropriate language when explaining your argument and your ideas. However, I learned another surprising lesson during the next step, when I started to put these ideas into practice in my model essays. It isn't enough to think about producing a clear argument. We also need to remember that you have to achieve this in only 40 minutes. In spite of having 25 years of professional test writing experience, when I tried to write an essay in 40 minutes, my early drafts did not meet the band 9 criteria for task response and coherence and cohesion. Eventually, I managed to solve this problem and devised a planning system that helped keep me on track, which I teach you how to use in my book. And in the test practice section, there is a particular emphasis on managing your time in the test. A key idea in my Task 2 book is that writing is thinking we can see. I show you step by step how to think in a way that makes your writing clear. You learn how to think carefully about the issue in the question, to think critically to gather ideas and form an argument, and instead of avoiding language, you learn how to use the language you know appropriately to clearly explain your ideas. So, these important but abstract ideas are now concrete practical steps you can follow step by step and finally reach your goal. As these people have shown, although there is no magical overnight solution, all of your steps add up, so that little by little, a little becomes a lot. Reach your IELTS goal using my apps and my Keto IELTS books. At the moment, these are only available as online courses. You get immediate access to the lessons and the interactive exercises. You get 12 months access and up to five people can share both the book and the cost. You can find the links on my website and down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one.